generic greetings and welcome to in for it today's beverages <sighs> a nice cup of tea so this is a game i featured once before on the channel essentially it's a walking simulator it's a bit of a puzzle game at times bit of an exploration it's more like urban exploration the experience so you're going around abandoned buildings and warehouses and facilities so this is like a um, i think this point here there's like a mine in there and this is some sort of half-built sewer system and we're going around and just exploring it and you uncover the story on why things are wrecked and the way they are and i don't really want to spoil too much but basically if you like the idea of an urbex type game with um, some uh, mediocre and quite frankly annoying puzzles at times then you might want to give it a go i have a bit of a love hate relationship with this game i've got about seven hours on it so i guess it's money well spent either way i've uh, got a beverage and i'm gonna show you a bit of it and just enjoy the game so hmm as you can see, we are in this, um, well, very, very, very dimly lit uh, concrete structure. And at the moment, I'm trying to find my way out. And obviously, that there does say exit. So that is obviously the exit. So if I go up there... Um, there's a power switch and when I turn it on there's a lot of electrical sparks all over the place and that is suboptimal. I don't think it's built to code so we need to make sure that we can fix it. So I'm taking this power brick here, this is like a fuse I think, and we're going to take it and plug it in. The problem is that I have to find multiples of them. So this is going to go in there and as you can see there is a slot for four of them. So what will go there? Okay, so that is uh, dynamite storage, but we can also, um, can we take them out? That's the question though, hang on, let me see if I can uh, go lift up here, and we we can't take them out, but we can place them in other areas, so I've put that in dynamite storage, so I wonder if dynamite storage is over there. Either way, we need to find some more of those, so we're going to explore the tunnel. Already I can see another one there, but we'll go far to the end and we'll see if there's another one. Uh, you also uh, have a camera here, which you will take pictures. Uh, you'll take, you'll use it to take pictures of um, things that are broken, and I think that's more for achievement purposes. So I'm not really too bothered. I just like the experience of wandering around in sewerage. It's just something that you know. I know it's a niche thing to like, but uh, hey ho. So we'll take this, and then we'll go back. What I want to do though is make sure I put it in a place that'll be quite useful. So is like an office type thing. Uh, that is storage. Small office in room C5, so I need to find room C5 because I want to turn that on and I'll be able to access it because otherwise I might lock myself out. Oh, actually, we'll probably go up here first because I believe there is a... Yeah, there's a tunnel thing there. I recently discovered this. I loaded the game up. Now, I've been playing it uh, on the weekend and I, uh, I I loaded up from that save and I thought, I'll do, do a quick video of this because I know the last video I, I did, uh, some people thought, oh, I'd never heard of that, that's quite interesting and, you know, I like the idea of that showing uh, games that may be a bit niche and uh, also that uh, people might not know about. It's a bit weird, you get things like this all over the place, teddies and stuff. Um, it can be creepy at times, I must confess. Uh, yeah, anyway, as I was saying, I... Um, I, I loaded back up and I, 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 I've been completely for, uh, ignoring this here. I didn't even realise it was there. Anyway, so we want to find room C5 or small office. I don't think there's anything over there. This is certainly empty and very, very dark as far as I can tell. It looks like my batteries on the torch running out. I'll reload those. Only one pack of batteries left. Only one pack of batteries left, so I better make sure I don't mess around with that one. That's his storage. So actually, yes, we want to activate storage. And which one's this? This is, this is, this is, this is, it doesn't say, and I can't see a power cube in there. So, but we'll definitely activate storage. If we get storage open, and I'm guessing that's small office? Probably, probably. So we'll do that then. But what I want to do first is grab these, and I need to take them inside because... Uh, I just like carrying boxes around, it's just my lot in life. No, what I need to do is place them here problem is that I can't see. I need to place them here because when I activate this thing, the floor is electrified because well, obviously it is because because it, would, it wouldn't it would be a challenge otherwise would it, being able to walk on sewage. We need electrified sewage. Um, actually, I don't know if it's technically classed as sewage or just, um, you know, horrible, horrible stinky water, but uh, yeah, I don't really want to find out. Nor do I actually care too much. Good job, the end smell of vision uh, so we'll bring this in here, like so, and we'll put it about there. Uh, that says dynamite, so actually we want to get in there at some point. Okay. Well, actually, you know what? I think that's what we'll do then. We'll have one on storage and one on office. Oh, dynamite storage is already open, that's fine. So storage, 
the small office in room C5. So we'll just go for that. Okay. And we want to be able to go... That's not room C5, is it? No, you can't. So we want to activate that. We'll quickly leg it back. And we do want to get into there. But we'll see what we can do. Right, so let's try this out. So I should be able to jump on this table. And then as soon as I pull this, there will be a timeout. And then there you go. So it's now on. But the ground is electrified. So we don't really want to touch that. But we can get in here now. So this is good. So what I'll do is I'll pick that up. I'll move it. I'll open storage and... Quite frankly, it's already more annoying than I thought. Oh my good grief. Right, well I could... Try and... Step forward with this I'm trying to preserve my torch oh dear oh dear <gasps> I close the edge that was close and is that not going to go in there it's really not oh hang on hang on hang on hang on I've just realised something once the door's open it's probably open and like that, I think that's just the lock. Right, well, hang on, we'll try this. Yeah. Right, it's just the lock. That's fine then. That's perfect, that's what we wanted. And. Yeah, that's full of dynamite. Okay, what's this? this is a gate key. That's fine. Um. This has seen better days, but we will take a picture. For posterity. And quite frankly, I can't get past. So I'm not really going to care much to... Yeah, I'm not going to care too much about that. Right, okay. So we will close that. We've got a gate key, which can be at the end there. But what I'll do is I will put back this thing here. Like so. And I'm going to... 3, 2, 1, activate. Roboteers have been standing by. So that's all the warning we need. And we're going to go back... And we're going to see if we can access the storage. And see if we can access the small room. And there's the storage. There we go. Perfect. And in here we have... Oh, there's the other power cube. I was looking for that. That's fine. Another spare pack of batteries. Five packs of camera batteries now. Five packs of camera batteries. That's more than enough. Let's just pick this up. And what we'll do is we'll put it there on our way, for our, on our way back, you see. And we'll head back and we'll see if this office has been opened. It has. Okay. So, very, very dark. However, there is a report to read. And tunnel report A32. First of all, new tunnel excavation site is put in the old tunnel in danger of collapsing. That's not good. Explosions have already caused several fractures in the walls and ceiling. One maintenance tunnel has completely collapsed because the new tunnel is being built to replace some parts of an area where all the maintenance tunnel was. Um, after Jeff Watt stepped down, the construction has almost stopped. Several workers have been moved to other projects. Okay, yeah, and it's all about the story and hydroelectric dams and, yeah, essentially, clicky clicky. There you go. And hang on, that's... That's good old US of A. I thought this was in a European city. I thought... So. Well, some of the things were saying that, so I don't know why that's there. Anyway, let's not care too much. It's uh, not the best looking game in the world. In fact, it's far from it. It's it's Source Engine. It's, um, you know, well, it looks like Half-Life 2. In fact, some of the textures could have, for all I know, could be from that. Oh, hang on. Uh, oh, it's this way. It's this way. It's fine. Um, so we need to get that and go in here and be very careful because, yeah, it's still activated. So we need to creep past. And we need to get that plugged in. There we go. That's activated. Turn that off. So, as you can see, I've already made a bit of a pathway to this. The question is, can I get in there? That's C5, yes. Yeah, so that, that's We can definitely get into that one. Right, uh, I'm guessing this gate key will open that. I would hope so. Yeah, your flashlight does still function with the, with the batteries broke. Right, that's fine. That's open. Um, it's just... It's pretty much next to useless so 
Ideally, you want to have a, a working set of batteries. And the ones that are not empty. Right, so what I'm going to do... I'm going to go up here, have a sip of beverage for a start. Oh, that's a nice cover. Right, get that on. Then, that's electrified. And... What we'll do is get this door up and rated. There we go. And that should be all of the doors by my reckoning. Storage, well, closest to this, we've got C5. We have dynamite storage, storage, and then the office. So that should be it. Power down. And there we go. So it should be a straight shot. Have a look in here, see what's there. And then go through there. Uh, and what I will do is click save and slot one because, quite frankly, we could die at any minute. There was a, a bit earlier where... Is there just nothing in here? Or is it just take photo of the... Well, actually, no, there is a way up here. There we go. Um... Where does this go? Does this go over the top like you don't have to get the key? It might be It might be as simple as that. That if you didn't have the gate key, you could go this way. I think it might, you know, I think that's all it, all it was. Yeah, so if you didn't open the right door, or you didn't find the other one, you could have just done this. Well, that's fine then, that's fine. And... Okay. <laughs> Put that in the uh, scrapbook. Last batteries. Last batteries, which is a shame. Uh, welcome to. Sir. I think that's the name of the city. Uh, what's this? We've got. Uh, the Tunnel of Water Trees. That six packs of camera batteries. Six pack of camera batteries. We've got some milk, which is, I'm guessing, slightly out of date. Pack of cigs, uh, some pizza. Yeah, just rubbish all over the place. Obviously, a good. Ah, oh, we would have to go around this way anyway. Yeah, next map. Ah, next map. Cool. Yeah, any good game, uh, you would argue that the world, well, rightly so, I think, uh, it tells you know a great story anyway. Like you take everything else out. Like you can go around Bioshock and you can just feel what it's like. You know, that's a great example um and that's why a lot of people knock walking simulators because they say well on, on top of that you know it should already do that and what other games other games like that in half-life 2 and whatever you could pick many examples in the witcher and all sorts um you say what them do worlds do do the same as walking simulators or narrative exploration games whatever you would like to call it um but also do other stuff like rpg shooting stuff or whatever but uh, you know what i've met I've said it several times sometimes i just want to wander around and i like that you get like this is it, it is just um it is urbex, essentially, uh, urban exploration. This is chapter four, heavy industry. Uh, never got this far. I mean, this is my first playthrough. That looks like a Godzilla's um, kick the wall. And... Stahlberg future. Your future. No work, no home. The ordinary place to get better future is open sewer. Hmm, okay, fine. Anyway, I need to get over that, although I can not go under there. Right, so how do I get over that? Is there another way around? There is not. Um, I'm guessing I can... Is that the way? No, this is the way. Ladder. Okay. Sometimes in these levels there are multiple ways in and out. It just depends on where you start and what you do. And long corridor. If you're playing this thing, it's going to be really creepy and stuff. It does have an atmosphere, but there's no jump scares in it. Uh, actually, yeah, I say that there might be one or two when like walls collapse and stuff, but it's not. It's not over the top. I've just picked a key up there, and I didn't even know it was there. I just pressed F at the toolbox, thinking I might pick something up. Anyway, 
yeah, so if you're about that sort of thing, uh, honestly, I, I really wouldn't. I'd like to go in there because there's a... Oh, there's... Is the batteries? The masteries? Yeah, oh, there's some batteries up there. Yeah, flashlight batteries. But the key I've got should open this. Yes, there we go. Right. Oh, outside, finally. I mean, look, you can see it is it is dated when it comes to this sort of, like, stuff. But it is still okay. You know, I'm not going to knock it for it. That's for sure. Could use some bolt cutters again. Yeah, could use some bolt cutters again. So it's some sort of industrial complex. Oh! Old and the new. Yeah, look at that. Wind turbine. And, I should uh, probably let the guys at the office know where I am. Yeah, call them then. No signal, apparently. Great. There's no signal. <laughs> there should be a cell transceiver up in the old steel factory tower. Oh, steel factory, yes. There, it's a steel factory. I remember the black... I, I, I saw the, bla the blast furnace there. Yeah. The top of it, at least. So. Just having a look around. Uh, we'll have a quick jump up here, see if there's anything off the wall. Nope. Just, just low-res boxes. Okay. Must be where to store them. You have to store low-res boxes somewhere, right? Hmm. Okay, so I need some ball cutters. Um, this is almost certainly death if I jump off that. Save. Save. Oh, no, there's a pipe. I can jump on the pipe. Ooh, that hurt. You cannot fall very far in this game. In fact, fall any more than that and you will... Pro well... If you fall, fell the entire length, that you immediately, that's dead, that's Lord. Um, that one there was very close to being dead, so yes, um, try and avoid drops at all costs. That is a good life tip as well as in this game. So, have we got anything around here? The whole point is that you will explore. So we need some bolt cuts. Well, that ladder seems a bit suspect. Hmm. Where does one go? Can I jump over the fence? Don't think so. Huh! No. Hmm. I don't know where I'm supposed to go then. I'll just double check around here. It just seems a bit strange that there's bits around there. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to get down there. And have a look another look in here. What have I missed? That's power off. Did say bolt cutters. There's bolt cutters in here. No bolt cutters. Okay. So is that a spray can? It is. I just noticed how shiny it was. Oh, there's some mushrooms there. <laughs> One of the uh, parts of the games had some of that. I'm guessing there's ball cut. Yeah, there's the ball cutters. So I know I definitely need to be in here. Right, well, I can... Oh! Just figured it out, and you've probably figured it out already anywhere. Yeah, you can jump down. Uh, let me... That's broken? No, it's not. It is. It is broken, but it's not officially broken, according to the camera. When you are going to take a photo of something that is really, really hammered, it will... Um, it will focus in the, the, the ring, will fo the, the square thing, the focus thing will move in so that you are ready to take it. Yeah, so you've already figured it out probably, it took me the two attempts, but hey-ho. We uh, need to jump down on top of that, crouch, turn around and go back in. So that's fine. That's fine. Take some picture of the tagging. And... Broken legs. Right. So I'll sneak on in with our sneakers on. <sighs> Plus 10 generic break and entering points. Crime. Ball cutters. And the computer is... Not working. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it wasn't working previously. It was blue screen of death, but it's definitely broken now. 
It's letting the uh, the blue smoke out, and that's not a good sign. What's this? Stahlberg Times. Apparently, it, apparently Stahlberg creates bloom. Good grief. Stahlberg steel collapsed. Yeah, Metalworkers Union being blamed. City Council announces budget cuts. Yeah. The whole thing's in collapse, and th there's a story that goes with it. I must confess, because I've played this over the course of... Um, that's a nice drill press. I've, because I've played this over the... Probably the course of several months... Uh, most of what I picked up, I've totally forgotten about. But I'm just enjoying being in the world, and I'll probably I'll have a recap later on, or at the end if I don't piece it together myself. Okay. Okay. So he just told us don't take. We don't have to take any pictures because the whole point is we're a structural surveyor, so we need to take pictures of um, stuff that's broken, so we don't have to in here. Um, but that doesn't go on. So two twenty volts. What couldn't reach two twenty? UK is supposed to be 230 to apply to go with European standards, but in reality, I think we're 240. But I don't really know. It's 60 hertz rather than 50. Made in Britain. Um, so that's a nice. That's nice. More Banksy or something. Abandoned, but the lights are still on. That's probably a YouTube video. I, I, I've <laughs> Almost certain when you go to an Urbex channel, abandoned but lights stay on, or found, found, um, found dead pigeon in abandoned building, or found jewellery in, oh god, yeah, <laughs> found clickbait in title is what it means. Okay, some random red gases coming from that. That's never good. Nothing around here. Okay, when in doubt, follow the lights. Uh, 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 uh. Ah. Okay, that's bad. Um. Um. Uh, ah. Okay. Nope, 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 no. Nope. Okay, right. Um, I think I might have fallen into a trap. Because we're locked in. Can't get out. Okay. Okay. Save. Slot three. I'm going to try and blitz it across the room. Let's see how this works. Three, two, one, go! Hold breath, hold breath, hold breath, hold breath. No. Didn't work. Okay. Right. I guess we're just on a trial and error. No, come back. <coughs> That's fine. Go. <coughs> no. But this is safe. I thought this might... It did say fresh air there, but I didn't see it on the way in. When I was running there, I didn't see it. But, whoa. I assume this was fresh air. Why that, but... Yeah. When I stood next to it, it didn't immediately heal, uh, heal me up or didn't go back to normal, so I assumed it was just a bit broken. Okay. It's fine. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, let me in, let me in, let me in. Damn it! Okay. <laughs> We know, I think, the way past. And it has saved me at the latest one. <laughs> Which we're okay in here. Okay. Apex or spear batteries. Fair batteries. Like. Lots of motors. Yeah. Let's read the tag on them. Electric motor. Model something. Model blur. Um, something to something blur. Blurred. Yeah. Okay. Um, remember to return keys. Gate key and control room. Okay. And go. Just make sure. Nope, nothing there. Go back in. Fine. And go. Wow, okay. 
don't know why I died so much there. Maybe there is a delay in uh, you getting your health back. But I've got the keys. Nowhere to go. Go! <coughs> Fine, here. Wait until the screen. Just give it a little bit of time to screen it go to normal. Right. <coughs> and here. <coughs> I mean, I'm sure with the, there's no there's no after effects. I mean, this is this is just a temporary thing, you know, breeding in whatever this is. Okay. And go to the stairwell. And sweet. Oh, this is cool. So we've got now. Oh, it's a, is it a, is it a pipe mill? No, it's a girder. It's a girder mill. Well, don't know if it's called a girl mill, roll mill. Makes good is apparently. Right, where's the good where's good where's the best shot gonna be? From up there probably, in it. Let's get let's get the thumbnail, shall we? Yeah, that looks sweet. Hmm, is there another bit we can go up? No, we're not gonna not gonna head up there. There we go. I think. I think that's the thumbnail right there, isn't it? Somewhere about there. <laughs> there you go. That is a little bit of infra. Hmm. I've just realised as well that there's something to read down there, which I will do in but a moment. Yeah. Like I said, love hit with this game. Uh, there's the puzzles range from. All right, to really annoying, infuriating, and quite frankly, sometimes indecipherable. Uh, like there's there's times where I just I've had to look it up. Um, maybe that's on me. You know, maybe I'm just a moron. Well, you know that that is that is universally acknowledged. But what I'm saying is that um, some of them I did not find very intuitive. But just wandering around abandoned places and stuff, and and watching it, and and. No, the story's okay. It's quite engaging, like why things are broken and uh, what's happening with uh, Stolberg and and uh, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, it's 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 all right. I, I do quite like it. It's it's got something out about it. I wouldn't have played over seven hours now if uh, if I didn't like it. So you know, that's uh, I guess. <laughs> I guess that's uh, something. Either way, links in the description so you can check it out yourself if you do so desire. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.